Welcome to the Salerside family. It's, a, it's such a pleasure to be here with you tonight. It has been an incredible month. We have got uh, more customer reviews to share with you than we can tonight. But I want to thank all of you for all of your support. It, it, it means the world to me. We had a challenge getting our, our last group of seller sizers done. We got them out, they're shipped, they're on their way to you. Um, you'll be getting a tracking number. We may have a few more to finish up tomorrow, but I wanna thank all of you for your patience. We, this is unprecedented times, and I, I really, some, some of you have waited nearly two months for the seller sizer. And, and I, I commend you for that. I thank you for that. Um, I thank you for your support and your belief in us. Like I said, it's, it's, it's meant the world. What we're going to be doing tonight, we're going to be going over some customer reviews. We're going to go over some questions. I'm going to share with you some of the techniques more specifically for some of the movements with the seller sizer. Now, you don't have to do them that way. They've been very effective for, for most of us. So I want to make sure you understand some of the nuances or, or just little differences that can make a, a better result. I also want to address a little bit um, about the solar sizer compared to other mini trampolines out there. I think it's important. We had someone the last month who got on the solar sizer, but then we started to use it like they did a bungee cord unit. You can't do that. The, the solar sizer has more resistance, so you have to allow the body to build up. In addition to the resistance, it supports the different movements that we can do on the solar sizer that other mini trampolines might have a harder time doing. So we want you to have a great experience, <clears throat> but we want you to be safe too. Now, with that being said, Mike called me up this morning, and, and I just loved it because he said, David, I want to tell you a story. He said, I have been using the solar sizer for quite a while. I had some real serious hip issues. And those hip problems were, uh, would come and go. And he said, and I couldn't figure out exactly what was changing or why the hip issues would, would actually go away. And then I'd start to feel them again a little bit. And he made a very interesting point. <clears throat> he, he noticed that when he held onto the balance bar, that, you know, I'll just kick my shoes off. As he started to just bounce up and down, because one of his hips was out of place, um, it was tilted a little bit more, that he would notice his body would start to drift while on the cellar sizer. Now, the cellar sizer is equal all the way around, but if your body's out of alignment, it's going to work more on that part of the body that is out of alignment. Well, sure enough, he would, he would end up tilting or moving off center with his hip issue and it would end up um, just, he would feel it more in the hip. So he realized that if you put a piece of tape in the very center of the, uh, of the um, handle, he could hold on to it, he would stay centered, his hip problems went away. Now this is somebody he was just basically doing the baby bounce. But that, um, that was precious. So Mike, um, thank you for, for sharing something new with me that I was able to share with, with everybody else. So that's great. Now, again, the solar sizer has resistance. So we want to do movements carefully. And with respect to the hips, it's, it's phenomenal. For, I mean, we've had people with degenerative hip problems, people with all kinds of hip issues who have cellular sized and those issues have just faded away. But the approach, uh, you can consult with your doctor, have your doctor give me a call, but the approach is different depending upon what the issue is. So standing here, gently moving up and down, again, you have resistance that's weight bearing to help build up muscle mass and bone density, but it also helps to move fluid and circulation through the body. If it was too soft, it wouldn't be as effective in doing that. Spreading the feet apart a little bit, Rock after you've warmed up the tissue, rocking side to side is allowing the hips to drop down into the mat, and that helps to loosen up the hips. Lifting the heels up and down and gently twisting 
is also going to help a great many things, but it's also going to be working on the hips. And again, one of the, the things that are, are not in the Mr. Rebounder app or that I haven't really shared on the video is after you've been doing the gentle twist here is to keep the hips straight ahead and just gently twist in the hip socket area. And that helps to increase fluid circulation and strength all throughout this hip area. Very important. And it's, it's part of our, part of my normal uh, daily routine. So those are just some of the nuances and then we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll talk about some of the other movements. And I'd like you, like to encourage all of you to go ahead and write and, and share with us any questions that you may have with specific issues or with, uh, with regards to um, techniques that, um, that you're curious about on the subtle sizer. Okay, so Leandri writes, hello, I was wondering if it is safe to subtle size if you suffer from a prolapse uterus. Okay, that's gonna be one of the questions. Let's come back to that. And yeah, there's, um, again, I don't know the issue. I don't wanna give medical advice, but there are techniques that we can do on the subtle size, such as sitting down tilting backwards slightly so we don't have all the vertical movement up and down and gently bouncing up and down so all the internal organs and connective tissues and the fascia can all and everything inside can start to tighten and tone without just movement straight up and down. So you're actually sitting down on the subtle sizer, tilted back a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. I'm Ricky, you can see this all right, but I've got my hands right here on the, uh, the mat and I just gently bounce up and down to it so I can support my back. And as I get going, I can lift uh, a leg up and that really starts to focus on the lower abdominals as well. Okay. So, Angie writes, <clears throat> I started off slow and with an off brand, then I purchased Cellar Sizer. Thank you, David. Now, one and a half years later, I'm 30 to 60 minutes a day, six days a week. It's been the best exercise for me, hands down. No other rebounder compares, none. I've had four. I've lost 20 pounds plus and dropped clothing sizes. 10 minutes to start off with is a great way to start. And Angie, thank you. I'm sure that can be inspirational to a good number of people. This one came in today too. Uh, Christine, I want to say hi to Christine. I know she's watching and behind the scenes helping us out. But she, uh, she sent me this one. She said uh, that somebody, one of our customers sent, so happy, just received my solar sizer. It is so different from my cheap mini trampoline. I love it. Thank you, David Hall, solar sizer. Well, thank you very much for sharing that. All right, Brenda writes, oh my, what a difference. <clears throat> Mr. UPS delivered my solar sizer a few minutes ago. It was a breeze to set up. There is no contest between it and whatever brand I have been using. It is tight, my feet stay flat, and my ankles were not the least bit stressed. So glad I decided to purchase an in-stock item. My order was placed late on July 19th, and it arrived today, on the 22nd. Utah to Michigan, way to go team seller size. My husband didn't know I bought this. He came in the room and asked, and I asked him to bounce. He said, I don't like it. It makes my knees hurt. I urged him to try it for a minute anyway. He bounced and said, this isn't the same unit. It's tighter and it doesn't bow toward the center. Thank you, and yes, you're right. And I look forward to hearing back about your husband and how it works on his knees. So thank you for sharing that. Deb writes, I got my trifold, no complaints, my hubby, so I do another method called block therapy. Basically, it's a piece of cedar wood and you can lay it on any part of your body, face, head, etc. It helps with fascia. Have been bringing out an old injury after I blocked my knees. My whole left leg just hurt in different places, so I, I strained it years ago with weights. So I've been blocking my feet and leg calves. That's interesting. What I find interesting is I'm using the cellar sizer, which David Hall has said will bring out weaknesses and imbalances. It's exactly right. And I, it did more so in the same leg, so I turned down my time on it to five to 10 minutes instead of 20. Did some stretching for the legs, did some bounce 
or both legs took it easy, just the inner part of my knee and ankle are a bit sore. Same old injury working itself out. I did five minutes today watching my feet shifting back on my heels, got off, and the knee feels like it's getting stronger and less painful now. Very interesting to see this old injury heal up. I'm finding both methods to be very complimentary, loving it. And you know, when I ripped up my shoulders, um, I went for years where I couldn't even throw a baseball. And it was frustrating because my son was growing up and I, I just couldn't get my arm back and, and throw it. Then I started doing those shoulder movements and we we talked about them. Just, I shared this with somebody else today, just, just to open up the shoulders. And when you feel what that does on the shoulders, it's, it's amazing. The Mr. Rebounder additions to the Mr. Rebounder app are done. We've been testing them. Um, we've got some more to share with you. So it should be, we hope to have those up and running any day now. We have our board meeting tomorrow. Uh, they'll deal a lot with shoulders, with muscle building, with um, stretching movements um, while you're cellular sizing. So we look forward to sharing those with you very soon. And we've got something else we're going to introduce you to tonight on the Mr. Rebounder app that I think you're going to be excited about. I am. All right, Elizabeth Rice. I've been rebounding for over 20 years. I've been doing your 10-minute workout on a rebounder for three years. I recently purchased a cellar sizer and have continued the 10-minute workout on it only at a reduced level to allow for the greater effectiveness. I have been amazed at the difference in terms of challenges to my fitness level and of comfort, ease of recovery after exercise. There definitely is an incredible difference! Exclamation point. I have several friends and relatives who got cellular sizers at my recommendation. I'm so glad I finally took my own advice. <laughs> I also want to commend your customer service guy, Jerry. Many of you know Jerry. You can call Jerry if you want to pick me up. Jerry has just been with me for over 21, 22 years, and he is just, just a very caring, delightful, funny, funny guy. So um, feel free to call Jerry anytime. On a, uh, Jer Jerry, for taking care of replacing the cover on the new solar size, even though it had not, not been um, warranted. The cover developed a rip sometime after I noticed it in the second week. His genuine concern for looking out for my satisfaction and for the reputation of your company is special. Thank you for all you've done to benefit the well-being of so many in such a fun way since 30 years of Olympus. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yes, the, the spring cover is the only thing we really can't warranty other than workmanship because some people like to do jumping jacks and they land on the mat or if you lift it up and drop it, it can put a little split in it. But it's extreme, it's good material. That's extremely versatile. So if you notice a little rip or tear or split, if you take a little duct tape and you stick it underneath the spring cover, it should last you years and you won't even see it. Won't even notice it. Uh, I've done that when I travel around the, the country with mine. All right, we'll read a few more. Hi, seller size team. I received my seller size on Thursday, order on Monday. Thank you for the lightning fast shipping. Just a couple questions. My spring, spring cover does not have the flaps that I've seen on some videos which cover the hinges. Just wanted to see if this is a new design or if I'm missing. Missing an item. And no, you notice the, the trifold doesn't have a flap to cover the hinge. The half fold, the home base model does. The trifold is, was originally designed to travel. And so people weren't going to just leave it stationary as much. They would just fold it up, stick it in their carrying case, and take off. So we, we dispense with the flap because when you open and close it, if you're not careful, the flap can get in the hinge, or if you forget to pull the flap away from the hinge, it can, it can actually create a little tear in the flap. So we dispensed with that on the professional trifold because we knew people were going to be opening and shedding it. But no, it's, it's, um, that's perfectly fine. I've got a half fold in my other office here, and I've got the, the trifold here. So I've seen videos, and it looks like the foam sheets around some of the springs are left in the unit, but I thought they were for packaging purposes, so I disposed of them. Did I mess up? 
was I supposed to lead them? And she's talking about at the other hinges on the tripod, we, we generally have some little, they're gone on this one, but some little foam when it's being shipped. And I encourage people, yeah, leave them on there because it just, it just protects the uh, spring cover a little bit more when you're folding it up. And I talked to her about that, and she went out and she found them um, in, in the trash, and so she took them out and put them back, back on. And yes, they, they were great. Um, okay, I'll be writing a review. I've gone through several different rebounders, and I thought I had the best when I scored a pre-owned Bellicon. <clears throat> After replacing bungees, trying to get the firmer mat, the mat firmer, couldn't keep up with David Hall routines along with the uh, with Stephanie and Sally, our twins that uh, we work with. She said, I decided I needed a cellar sizer. When I first tried it, I thought, oh boy, I'm going to be sore as the mat felt quite a bit tighter. But shortly after starting my first routine, I was in love. She capitalizes that. It is much less jarring for me. I feel it's easier, yet I get a better workout. And I feel rejuvenated after every workout and have been feeling better than ever. Never felt like this with the other rebounders and would often have lots of upper back and neck tension. The plan was to pull it away after each workout, but I find I want to use it so often throughout the day that it's been staying out. So happy. Thank you, David Hall and the entire team. And, you know, this is, uh, this is from Hawaii. Hong Tanalu. I hope I pronounced that right. So thank you very much. You know, and, and it is different. This cellar sizer is different. I've had people write me in, in, in letters, and they said, you know, another one had been using a bungee cord unit. <clears throat> you probably know the name. But <clears throat> they said, how come I never had the same type of results on the bungee cord unit that I do on the cellar sizer? Well, it's simply because it doesn't have the resistance. You want movement without jarring, but you also want that deceleration, accelerated resistance so that it moves the fluid through the lymph system. It moves the circulation. It strengthens the connective tissues. And generally within two to three weeks, people really begin to feel, the, I mean, different in their overall fitness and health. So, so thank you very much for sharing that. I haven't read any of these, so I'm, I'm reading and I'm hoping that I've, today I've been helping to get all the cellar sizers we were so far back ordered on um, shipped out. So I was with everybody else helping do that. And we've got a great team and people are carrying on. I was thinking it'd be nice if we recorded this so all of you could hear the, the how fun, how much fun we have, the jokes, the, the singing, the the things that, that, you know, it's just a really neat, fun environment. Okay, so, hi, new to this group. I placed an order yesterday and it was shipped the same day. That is awesome service. I was watching videos on the main website and came to the one where David responds to the competitor's allegations. He remained calm and stated facts, correcting any info he knew to be incorrect, defending his product without bashing theirs. That sold me. He could not have handled the situation in this manner if he were less than decent and honest. David, I, if you see this, know that you are, that who you are is apparent and is appreciated. Thank you, Brenda. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> this is a, looks like it's a long one. Um, I think we'll save, I think we'll save some of these others for, for next time. There's so many, so many good, um, good ones. So let's go through some of the questions. And Brookie, are there any that have come up? Yeah. Um, okay. Can cellar sizing help with earwax problems? Oh, if you're chewing gum with it, it very well may. Um, but we don't have any indication. Um, chewing gum helps to move earwax. And it's a natural process, part of the immune system. It helps to expel that wax. Um, the movement up and down is going to create the pressure changes 
and there's no reason to not to think that it can um, can do the same thing. So um, I'm sure, depending on the severity of how how much wax you have in your ear, it makes a difference. You may want to see a doctor to have that removed. It's not that difficult to do that. But any others? Do you have advice on strengthening the eyes and improving vision with the Zellersizer? Strengthening the eyes and improving vision with the Zellersizer. Yeah, we've talked, I think, a little bit about that. And the people that I've talked to who've really seen the difference, they really worked hard at it. The eye is interesting. It, it has the lens. If the lens becomes hard, or especially as we're getting older, or too much sun, or it's become damaged, it, if it becomes hard, it's harder for the muscles to take that lens and focus around that lens. But if the lens is in decent condition and the muscles have just gotten weak, then yes, we have some pretty neat exercises that we've had a number of optom um, optometrists have also um, used. You know, and, and one of them is just to create an eye chart, put it up on a window or, or buy one on Amazon and bounce up and down. You read the eye chart while you're bouncing, um, read it from left to right, right to left, up and down, diagonal. You're working the muscles of the eyes, you're doing that. Say it out loud. There's a brain eye connection as you're doing that, do different movements while you're doing it. And then as you're focusing on that chart and your eyes are moving, keep in mind that the cellar sizer is also moving you up and down, increasing circulation as well as causing the eye to expand and contract with weight on it. So it's increasing flexibility and strength to the eye as you're working it. And then you look at the, uh, the eye chart and put, you want to put it on the window so you can look through the window at a distance and you focus at a distance for a few moments. And then you come back to the eye chart. And over time, those muscles in that focus um, can start to adapt with the benefit of the the solar sizer because you're getting a lot more of that circulation. Any more, Ricky? Um, does solar size help with insulin resistance? Does it help with insulin resistance? You there's there is a website we put up a long time ago. It was called Cellar Sizer Diabetes Help dot com. And we have some interesting customer reviews of people that have had diabetes, they've dealt with the diabetes, they've dealt with blood sugar levels, and what the Cellar Sizer did for them. Um, again at Cellar Sizer Diabetes Help, H E L P dot com. And if you look at that, you can read some, some customer reviews on it. Um, is there an exercise that can help a knee that is losing the cushion between the bones? Yeah, we have that a lot with knee. Is there, a, um, is there a process where you can strengthen a knee with regard when it's been losing its, its uh, cartilage or its um, cushion? Yeah, knees are kind of a specialty of ours with this cellar size. And again, I have to say consult with your doctor, but we've had people that have been bone on bone that have used the cellar size. And I just spoke with one last week and it, it can be a lengthy process, but it can, it can be greatly beneficial. It's generally weaknesses or injury in the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint that cause us to lose that circulation. And when we build up those supporting muscles and ligaments over time, they support the joint better and we're able to retain more fluid. But this, uh, again, gentle baby bounce, help bounce up and down just like this. Now I want you to listen how quiet the solar sizer is. So if any of you are dealing with any squeaky issues, uh, I want you to know that you can, you can break your solar sizer in with a drop of oil at both ends of each spring, and it may take a little bit of time, but they're all built exactly the same. So, all right, so uh, standing here, gently moving up and down, rocking side to side, works the hips, the thighs, and the knees, both sides of the knee, very few exercises really are effective in doing that. Um, doing the, the jumbo walk for the whole front part of the knee starts to build up the muscles and ligaments. And notice that we're not hitting a hard surface, and we're not just bouncing straight up and down. We're working with the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint. And then, this is on my phone, I'm sorry. Okay, so what? Jumping side to side laterally, 
can also work um, both sides of the knee. And I'm going to turn my phone off and maybe that'll, that'll take care of that. That'll work both sides of the knee as well. All right, so let me do me some more. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. Sorry. Wow. Hmm. I know where it's, where it's coming from. It's coming from the garage. Okay. Talk about the Mr. Rebounder app. Oh, anybody want to hear about the Mr. Rebounder app? I love this app. I tell you, I knew I had a vision and I had some resistance when I first had the vision um, from eight years ago. And because nobody was doing this. And they said, well, no, you need to do it the way everybody else is doing it. I said, I don't want to do it the way everybody else is doing it. I don't think that's really serving the needs of the people. I want to create a program that is based upon the level of fitness that a particular individual is right now so that we can start off with beginning, we can do intermediate, we can do advanced, we can have them create their own based upon what their fitness goals and objectives are. And that was a novel idea eight years ago. It's taken us many years to develop this. So as we, we look at the, uh, can they see it on the screen, Ricky? Okay. Okay, so as we're looking at this, um, when you go to the Mr. Rebounder app to begin with, and you, you download it from Google Play or from um, the, Apple, the Apple Store, then you, it looks like that, and you click on it. You've got the beginning movements, routines that you have. You've got the intermediate, of course, routines. Um, that you can pick from. You've got the advanced routines that you can pick from. One of the ones I like the best is Dr. Lynn, Lynn's Interval Training and the second weight loss program. Now, I don't need to lose weight, but I like the intensity of the program. So you click on it and you see the start button. You've got all the different movements here. You have a clone template. You can actually clone this whole thing and now you can remove or add there's a little add movements button here, and you can save, create a whole different routine, or save the elements you like, or change it up. Um, you can actually take and uh, move, oh, I can move it over here. You can actually move the different movements into different positions, depending on where you want it. And then when you're done, you save it. You can, you can add a picture, you can replace an image. It's, the first year we had the, it's still discounted right now, as a matter of fact, um, because everybody was involved, you know, we were making changes, we were upgrading um, things. This is some of my personal workouts that I, I've shared with you, um, a lot of them in Christine as well. But if you go back to home, back to, okay, I'm going to show you the new future. We'll come back. So if you want to create one, you go to the, the create menu and you can add a movement. You just pick a movement. It's got all these movements. Now on mine, I don't know if you have that available on yours yet. You can see all of these are the new, are the new movements that we're adding for the, um, for the Mr. Rebounder app. Quite a few. There's over 30. And We'll have those available any day now. So we're excited about that. And once you've added all your movements, you come back up here, you say save. You can write a description for your movement. You can pick an image from your photo library and you can save it, like I've done, to your own personal routine, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to go back to home now. And I want to show you something that's new. It's, um, I've got a lot of ideas, but all of the ideas are, what can I do to help you achieve the things that are important to you in your own personal health and fitness? And that's been my motivation. Uh, I'll, I don't know if I'll ever see a return on this investment, but that was not my intent. My intent was, again, 
how do I help you get results? Because that's, you haven't told, yeah, if you can't tell, that's my joy. Because that's what I needed when I did this. But with that in mind, watch this. We have up here three bars. If I hit the three bars, now this is coming. It could be coming next week. We, uh, I mean, it, this is virtually done. So we just have to introduce it now. Which I, you're the Seller Size family on Facebook, so I'm sharing it with you first. So if you go to settings and you hit settings, you'll notice it says connect Bluetooth device. So we have created, this is, uh, we've actually, this is the prototype. We've got the design changed just a little different. It looks even neater than this. But this little guy here attaches to the mat. It has a button. When you press the button here, it turns red and then green. And then when you hit connect Bluetooth device right here, it turns blue. So you now know you are connected. When you add, I'm going to put it back on the mat. And now if I go back to the program, and if I pick the weight loss program, the moment I hit the start button, now you notice there's a little orange bar. So if you happen to have this module, you have a little orange bar on this side of the screen. If you put, press on that orange bar, it will show you the amount of time for this particular movement. It has an intensity meter built into the app. It will show you the number of bounces that you are doing, and it will also show you the number of bounces you've averaged per minute. And we have an algorithm. This is not simply a counter. Wow. This is, oh, next movement. Okay, I'll mute. That. Okay, so got a, a deflection, so it can measure intensity, and we're able to estimate the caloric burn as a result of that. So this is um, this is new, and I'll show you. How that works, if you're on that and if you're watching, you see the, the intensity meter up there. The intensity meter is going. The number on this is not working as well as it does on right here right now because we're loading up too much. But, but you can see it's working here. And that is, that's our new module. So for those of you who have the Mr. Rebounder app, not only are we gonna have new movements that you can do, but we're also gonna have a new device that you can actually go back to your um, settings or and if you notice in settings, it says my activities. Under my activities, it has your workout. It stores it in the month. So if you go back, whoops, go back to my activities, it has a, an actual calendar here that shows you, and I just did this one this morning, it shows you a calendar and it will, sh it will keep track of the number of calories you're burning, the amount of time, uh, the number of jumps. Um, so it's kind of, kind of a fun little addition, again, to make it fun. And that's what solar size is supposed to be. We want it to be fun. Why work out when you can play in? It works on you. Again, there's no tearing down muscles or ligaments. It's simply weight bearing. It says if we lived on a planet that had more gravity, for a period of time, well, you'd have to get stronger to, to resist all that gravity. Let's, we 
what you're doing when you exercise. But the increase of weight is not limited to muscles, it's on everything. So we're moving up and down, we're opening up circulation, we're improving balance mechanisms dramatically at any age, and it's, uh, it's very effective. Okay, so, oh, any other questions, Brooklyn? Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of questions, sorry. That was a cute smile. <laughs> what about pectoral muscles? When you're um, doing the overall strength area and you're flexing, that, that helps because you're putting more weight on those muscles as you are working on the chest and the shoulders and the upper part of the body. Oh, okay, this is a long one. Um, after having both knees replaced, will I ever be able to jump on the sizer, Or will I always have to keep at least one foot on the mat as when I'm marching in place? We've had people that had double knee replacements and double uh, hip replacements. Both hips have been replaced, and they still size and they ski. So I wouldn't limit yourself. Um, again, check with your doctor. I don't know what your particular surgery was like or what your limitations may be, but as we start to strengthen those supporting muscles and ligaments, that's where we're going to get our strength for these various different activities. I'm 70, and I've had both knees replaced. Left is one year post-op, and my right eight weeks post-op. Post -op. I was having difficulty with my recovery and ordered my cellar size in late June to help with improving my balance and strengthening my muscles to help with pain management. Losing weight would be a welcome benefit. I received my cellar sizer on July 13th after upgrading to the slimmer bar and began doing two minutes of health bounces throughout the day when my grandkid, ages 14, 13, 5, and 16 months, weren't on it. <laughs> and that's true. Kids gravitate to it. They love it. And boy, I tell you, we've got... Some grandchildren are extremely coordinated. That would have been nice growing up on that. But um, cook my daughter here. She's phenomenal in everything she does, too. I had my PT session two days later on July 15th, and my therapist noticed my gait was better. I was using walking poles, and she had me put them aside to walk. To my surprise, I was able to walk the length of the hallways. I kept my hand clasped behind me to prevent me from reaching out to the sides like a tightrope walk, <laughs> tight walker and walked as she directed. As it turned out, she was having me practice walking the distance to the surgeon's clinic for my six-week checkup the following day. I saw my doctor on July 16th, and he was very pleased to see how much I had improved since my two-week follow-up when I had, had to be wheeled into the clinic couldn't lift my surgical leg and could barely bear any weight on the surgical leg, even with the use of my walker. Not only did I walk the length of a very long hallway, but I was also able to lift the leg as prompted. My flexion was 120 degrees. The extension was zero degrees. And when he had me plant my right foot on the floor, my knee was stable. He told me to keep doing whatever it was I was doing. I told him about doing two-minute health bounces on my cellar sizer, which concerned him at first. Now, keep in mind, most doctors, when you talk about bouncing up and down, they think it's a typical rebounder or mini trampoline. They don't know what a cellar sizer is or why it's different and how to, how to approach it to him. But he says, I showed him the video that my husband took to assure him my feet were always on the mat and I wasn't doing anything, any high impact. I've been able to extend my time to 12-minute sessions since I'm mainly still bouncing and doing some of the isometrics for my upper body. I would like to eventually do some jumping, but I don't know if I'm being realistic. Okay, if you go to our website and you look under our customer reviews, there's a lady in the senior section who heard about a lady who had been on the cellar sizer for uh, three and a half months, and she calls it the Seattle Times newspaper to tell them that they had to get this information out to the public. The Seattle Times asked her how old she was. She said, I'm 94. She, she says she, it saved her life. You can read the article, but it's a um, great, great letter. Well, that prompted another lady to get the solar sizer. She started using it, and she sent me pictures of herself, which we should have on, on our website now, pictures of herself after she'd been using for a period of time, 
where she was doing jumping jacks. And I don't recommend actually land on the spring, but in her case, I wasn't going to stop her. Um, she was doing jumping jacks. She was running in place, lifting her knees up. Her granddaughter sent me copies of the pictures of her, uh, of her um, grandmother at 95 years of age. 95 years of age. No, cells don't get old. They're always replacing themselves. Now, yes, we go through an aging process. But with most of us, we can help strengthen our body parts and functions more efficiently with fitness activities. In the cellular size, I don't know of anything that, that is going to open up circulation as effectively and create that weight-bearing activity and movements um, on the cellular size. You can do other things, but cellular size as a basic foundation will help you do other things more effectively, more efficiently. And you, it warms up your tissue, helps increase flexibility, does so much. Number four, hi Dave. My wife has some serious wrist issues. For 30 years, she's been dealing with it. She's losing her grip lately due to pain. It affects her sleep. She's going to go to the doctor again after one time a long time ago. I thought I'd ask if you've dealt with anything in this area before. I suspect they'll mention surgery, which we'd like to avoid. Thank you. And yeah, yeah, um, again, I'm not here to give medical advice, but that being said, you can focus a fitness routine on the wrists. The moving up and down on the cellular size or alone, you can wiggle, and we talked a little bit about this recently, you can wiggle your hands and your wrists as you're bouncing, because the moving up and down is weight bearing, but it's also increasing circulation, pumping circulation, and you're working the wrist. So it's just opening that up. Now you can also take, and I think I've mentioned this before, um, for people that have carpal tunnel issues, or if you end up hurting a ligament or tendon, is that, and I've been amazed at how well it's worked for several people that I've shared it with, and that's the, the Dynaball, D-Y-N-A-B-A-L-L, something like that. It's a gyro ball that you get going, and you have to keep it going with strength, but it seems to strengthen the, the wrists, and uh, it can help people with tennis elbow and things like that as well. So, very good. All right, hello, I'm interested in learning some exercises that would help me with my balance. Are there specific exercises to help me lower my blood pressure and cholesterol? The cellular size has been known and been mentioned in Dr. Morton Walker's book, Jumping for Health to Lower High Blood Pressure and Elevated Cholesterol and Triglyceride Levels Naturally. I have had my cellular sizer for four months and I use it daily. I'm 80 years old and need to work on those three things, balance, lowering blood pressure and cholesterol. Well, the last two seem to be a natural byproduct often of cellular sizing and the additional benefit that you're getting with that exercise. Balance, balance, that's uh, anybody out there born with balance? I've never met anybody born with balance. Balance is a physiological function. We can challenge our balance at any age. Cellular sizer does that. You look at a baby anywhere in the world, and you've heard me say it before, they get up in the crib, and instinctively they start to bounce up and down. And it doesn't end in the crib. They get out of the crib, they jump on the couch or the bed. They generally kick them off. And I tell people, and you've heard me say it before, if we knew better, we'd not only encourage them to do it, we'd be up there bouncing with them. It's a moving up and down that challenges our vestibular balance. It's moving fluid past the stirrup, the smallest bone of our, our ear, as we're moving up and down. So starting off just like a baby in a crib, it's just like this, just like a baby. And as we move up and down, as we become better, we become more animated. It's a natural process. We're challenging brain activity, proprioceptors, all throughout the nervous system in the brain so that um, we can improve rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination, um, as well as flexibility. Those are all great questions. Any others for them to come in? Or? Um, can you show a close-up of the app on your iPad with the new Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so they want to see what? Um, a close-up of what it looks like on the iPad with the new device. Yeah, yeah, the new device. Um, okay, I'll show you again, because when we go through this, it's disconnected now because I've been off of it. So if I were to go to settings, it says connect 
Bluetooth device. It's a connector device, no device found. So I come over here and I push the button on the device. Um, the new device has a slightly different shape. It'll have a little button that you just press. It turns from red to green. And then when you connect it, it turns to blue. And this little module, oh, by the way, something I didn't mention, we just added to this, is um, a battery indicator. So you don't have to worry about the battery anymore. <laughs> it will show you the percentage of the battery. So when you need to charge it, you can charge it. But one charge generally will last you several months, especially with a new unit. We made it just slightly bigger, so you have a bigger battery, and it's easier to, uh, to charge and keep it going. I haven't charged this one in over a month since I've been using it. Um, but that's, that's it. And then when you go do your routine, and you hit the start button, you've got a little orange tab right here. Hit that little orange tab. And it will give you the intensity meter, the uh, number of bounces that you're doing. It'll add all of them up. And I like to compete against myself. So I've gone in the number of calories burned. And I've gone, a couple of times I've gone over. And it, uh, it's fun to, to challenge yourself because the routine will stop. But then I just keep bouncing and adding it up. But um, that's it. So a lot of fun. Again, the app is extremely versatile. You can do a lot more with it. Oh, including, sorry, I disconnected the bricky. Um, anyway, you can do more, more with it. You can change the background. Um, you can change the avatar now. We've got... Uh, light skin, dark skin. We've got some little alien figurines that we're working with for kids. So that'll come out soon. And again, the whole purpose is for kids, how do we get them off the couch? Well, we want to encourage them to watch their show, which is what we often do. And, and then we, we just, it'll ding in between each movement. And we watch the show, we do our routine, children can do the same thing. Say, you wanna watch your show? Fine, but you need to sell size. It's fun. They're getting exercise while they're watching the program and it's fun. That's what we wanna make it. And so it's um, got a lot more we wanna accomplish. It just takes time. I wanna thank everybody again though, very, very much for your support while we've been back ordered. Steel is very difficult to find right now. It's, um, it's gotten much more, much more expensive. Um, tomorrow we're gonna have to raise our prices, so we're working on that right now. Just have no option. Uh, I've tried to keep the prices down. There's a lot more that go, and a lot more pieces that go into a cello sizer than, than um, a bungee cord unit, for example. But they're, and the quality, we keep the quality, we're not gonna, cut back on the quality so that therefore unfortunately things are getting more expensive and the seller size is going to go up um, quite a bit uh, I think it's a lot um, tomorrow so if you know anybody we were supposed to change it today but we were busy getting seller sizers out to everybody um, and it's nice to be caught up but I thank you again so many so much of you so many of you. Um, and again we still have the monitor the monitor is a standalone and the monitor can uh, you can turn the monitor on and it also has an intensity meter it will count the number of beats it will, or number of steps bounces um, the overall time and also the calories burned we use the same device on the inside of this monitor that we do on the, the small one. So it's um, it's standalone. You don't have to have a, a an app or, a, or any electronic device. Anybody that comes can, can jump on that as well. So 
Again, all right, so some movements real quick. When I'm doing the baby bounce, the health bounce, there's a couple ways of doing it. You can bend at the knee. If you're bending at the knee, you're focusing the effect more on the thighs and the knees. And that's great, this is very effective. It's gonna be a little different because it works on the, again, the thighs and the knees. If we lift our heels up and down, we're working more of the calf muscle. The weakest area of circulation in the body is in the lower extremities. That's where we get edema, swelling, varicose veins. So as we're lifting our heels up and down, we assist the heart through the muscles in the calf that create pressure to help feed the circulation through the one-way valves back up to the heart. So we can help avoid or reduce varicose veins and, and swelling in those areas. And so this helps move fluid. It's, uh, it's pumping, literally a pump. Okay, so from there, if we want to do on the, I'm gonna talk about the Jamba run, right? or the Jamba walk. If you lean forward and you do the walk, it's a lot easier, but it takes the weight off the thighs and the buttocks and puts it on the back. The back's not doing anything, it's just holding you up. So when we do the Jamba walk, I encourage people, Keep your back straight and your feet flat and push down into the mat this way because now you keep the weight right over the thighs and these muscles are really working. Those are big muscles. So it's, it, it tires you down faster because those muscles are eating up the glucose and the sugars in the bloodstream, the most readily available energy source. It's the same thing when we do the Chamba run. Just do that, I feel. When we do the Jamba run, everybody does. Um, you want to keep your back straight again, feet flat. And if you want to experience something that's pretty intense, feel your buttocks. Feel your buttocks and your muscles when you bend the knee, keeping your back straight, and you run as fast as you can, flat footed, without lifting your feet up off the mat. And so it's done just like that. And just, yeah, just feel those muscles, how much they are working. And when I first introduced that, I lost so much weight that I even lost my, my rear. And it, I had to back off because it was just, it was too intense. Subtle size is fun, but it's very, very efficient too. So that's a, that technique, this is, leaning forward is easier, a lot easier then keeping your back straight. And you can kind of tighten your buttocks a little bit and you'll know exactly what I mean. Okay, um, any other questions, Brittany? All right, good. So on the, um, we talked about the hips, twisting in the hips, twisting in the hip socket area, which is important. Kickouts, this is more advanced. I don't recommend, especially if you're not used to a cellar sizer, um, leveraging too much body weight too soon. Let your body adapt. It takes a couple weeks, two, three weeks. It's not that big a deal, but, and then you can start, if you feel up to it, you can start doing some of the more advanced techniques. So um, jogging in place is great. Jogging like this, tilting backwards slightly, focuses the weight right there. That's working. And that helped to prepare you for leveraging even more weight, which is done by just tilting back a little bit and kicking your legs out. That is a lot of weight. You're coming down with one leg up, and most people don't even comprehend how intense that is until they've tried it. For the waist and the hips, some subtle movements. You can do it this way, where you're just basically lifting the, the the leg up and it focuses here. And as you're doing it, nothing wrong, this is great. You can also tilt slightly. As I tilt slightly, I leverage more weight. By doing that gentle tilt, it's not, it's not quite the same. It's more elongated throughout the whole body. So I, I really kind of like, like doing that a little bit better than I like just kicking out side to side. So that's just a subtle change. Go ahead and try that, and it works effectively. If you're working the lower back and the buttocks, 
you can lean forward a little bit, yes. When you start off, these muscles in most people, they're fairly uh, weak. And so when they think they're kicking their legs out like this, they're really just doing this. That's okay. You don't have to force it. As you lean forward and you kick your feet behind you, these muscles, because simply because you're leaning forward, every time you come down, these muscles are flexing. They don't have an option. So you're leaning forward and you're just doing this, but you're putting weight. And then as you get stronger, your legs become straighter and you leverage more weight. So just, those are just some nuances, some little uh, differences that can help you in your journey um, for better health and fitness. Yes, anything? We're done. I want to thank everybody again for being part of the Saddle Size family, for sharing this program with others, for um, sharing your stories with all of us. Please keep them coming. Um, we'll have a treat in a couple of weeks. We'll, uh, we'll bring my daughter back on. We want to do a program routine that your children can do. So if you have children, bring them on board. But I also want it to be something that um, really all age groups can benefit from. So we'll see you in two weeks. Keep calling. Um, anything we can do to help you, let us know. Thank you. And remember, you don't have to work out when you play in.